Now that you've mixed up your test batch of glaze, you're going to want to mix it. One popular method is to use an immersion blender. These rotate at extremely fast speeds of around 10,000 RPM and work really well. The only problem is that they tend to overheat and break very easily. I've been through about five. So instead, I use a hand drill. You can find corded versions at relatively high RPMs of around 3,000 for very affordable prices. With the hand drill, I'll use a Jiffy mixer, which is pure stainless steel, never rusts. It's the best mixer I've found. For quick tests, an immersion blender or a hand drill will work fine, but nothing replaces a sieve. I found that 100 mesh is the best size of sieve to use to reduce spotting. 80 mesh will still leave spots of cobalt or iron, and 120 mesh might be a little bit overkill. Once you've mixed up your test batch of glaze, add about 40 to 50% water by weight. Then ideally let it sit for 10 minutes or more to allow the materials to absorb the water. Now you're ready to mix. Here I'm mixing with the pint-sized Jiffy mixer and hand drill. This amount of mixing is sufficient to apply to a test tile, fire it, and give me a good idea of what the glaze will look like. But to get an even better idea of what the glaze is going to be like, I'll use a sieve. Here I'm using a 100 mesh sieve. First, take the label off the original container and attach it to the new container. Note that my containers fit the test sieve perfectly. Now pour the glaze into the sieve and push it through with a rip. People often use brushes to push a glaze through a sieve, but I found ribs to be easier to use and easier to clean. You can spray some water in the original container and scrape out the rest of the glaze. Finally, you can clean off the rib and the sieve using water. And now you're ready to apply the glaze to test tiles. 